Hi everyone, welcome to Let's Talk in English on PTS and the radio. I'm Andrea. And I'm Gabe. And in this lesson, we are still finding out how to talk about tea houses and dining out. So listen for these in today's lesson. Yes, we are in Hualien, and it is fun meeting new friends and learning from them. Let's look at our key words for today. Our first one is burn. Burn. The fire started in the kitchen and burned everything in the house. Spill. Spill. Josh is not careful. He often spills his drinks. Touch. Touch. Don't touch anything. I'm painting this room. Server. Server. In America, waiters are called servers. Lie. Lie. Don't lie to me. Tell me the truth. Well, here's the truth. We're going to review these keywords one more time. Burn. Burn. Spill. Spill. Touch. Touch. Server. Server. Lie. Lie. Well done, everyone. Now let's go see Eddie. Ah,、uh, all right, Andrea. Yeah. Don't lie, but tell me truly. Am I very cute? Well, <laughs> Eddie, of course you are very cute. I am not lying. You're not lying. I'm not lying. Ah,、uh, you see that? <laughs> That's nice. Okay, today's mission. What does Patty say about tea in America? What does Patty say about tea in America? We'll find out today. Let's begin with conversation A. I haven't had traditional tea like this for years. We usually use tea bags in America. Are you sure you didn't burn your fingers, Patty? Yeah, I'm okay. Look. My fingers aren't even red. These little teacups get really hot, really fast. I remember now. How's your tea, Patty? It's wonderful. You should try some of mine too. Okay. Well, it seems like Patty is enjoying her tea. She says it's wonderful. Now, if you really like something. You can say this too. It's wonderful. You know what? I really enjoy today. I think it's wonderful. And it's wonderful that you've joined us today. Do you know what else is wonderful? Well, we found the answer to today's mission. The question is, what does Patty say about tea in America? What does Patty say about tea in America? Here's the answer. We usually use tea bags in America. Now, tea bags are different from the way they do things in Asia. How so? Well, usually in Asia, people drink tea that is just in the pot. It's not all together in a bag. So the tea leaves are just in the pot, and then you add water. But sometimes you have to be careful not to drink. The tea leaves, and you want to be careful not to drink too fast, especially if the water is hot, because you might get burned. Our keyword is burn. Burn. Now, when you burn yourself, that means you hurt yourself because something is too hot. You know, Andrea, if I drink hot drinks too quickly and I'm not careful. Then I may burn my tongue, and that really hurts. Well, that's true. Ouch! But I'm glad Patty didn't burn herself. Her fingers aren't even red. 
many times if you burn yourself, your skin or your fingers will turn red. That's right, and that's not very comfortable. But I know someone who does make us feel comfortable, and his name is Thomas. Let's go to him right now. 大家好，我是 Thomas。这边 Patty 提到说 ，We usually use tea bags in America. 在美国，我们泡茶的时候，通常都是用茶包。茶包叫做 tea bags. We usually use tea bags in America. 那么在台湾，我们可以说 ，We usually use tea leaves in Taiwan. 我们在泡茶的时候，通常是用茶叶。而不是用茶包，当然也可以用茶包了哈。Tea leaves 叫做茶叶，后面有一个动词叫做 burn。Burn 在这里是指烫到了。Are you sure you didn't burn your fingers? Burn your fingers. Burn 本来是燃烧，这里肯定不是燃烧。哎，你没有拿火烧你的手指吧？不可能。所以这边是因为茶杯小的这种泡茶的茶杯太烫了。So are you sure you didn't burn your fingers? 有烫到的话，你就可以说 Yes, I did burn my fingers. 我的手指烫到了。有的时候你可以说，哎，有一些怪味道哎。Something is burning. 什么东西在烧啊？有的时候你也可以说 Hey, I have a fever. 我发烧了。I'm burning. 我整个人快烧坏掉了，也可以用 burn 这样一个动词哈。后面有提到是 try， maybe you want to try some of my tea。也许你可以试试看我的茶叶尝起来怎么样。我们来看下一段的对话。Ouch， Derek， you burned me。What？ No， I didn't， Jim。Yes, you did. You spilled a pot of tea on me. Look at my clothes; they're all wet, and so is my arm. Uh, I'm really sorry. How did that happen? I didn't touch your teapot. Yes, you did. You are a terrible server. You should be fired. Derek should be fired. Wait a minute. Why should Derek be fired? Well, I don't know, but Jim says that Derek spilled a pot of tea on him. Now, is he telling the truth? I'm not sure, but we do need to take a look at that key word there: spill. Spill. To spill something means to have water or something else poured out, but Not on purpose. You didn't mean to do it, but there's water on the ground. You have spilled the water. So if you are pouring water into a cup, but you pour too much water in, some water might spill over the cup and spill onto the floor or spill on the table. And Jim says that Derek has spilled a pot of tea all over him. But Derek says I didn't touch your teapot, and let's look at this keyword, touch. Touch. You use your hand or your fingers to touch something by putting your hand on it. I am touching my clipboard right now. Right now, Gabe and I are not touching, but. If we put our hands together, we are touching. Our hands are touching each other. That's right. Touch, touch. And let's look at this next keyword: server. Server. Everyone, we have learned about waitresses and waiters, and here is another word that means the same thing: server. So a server is either a man. Or a woman who is serving you at a restaurant. A server takes your order at a restaurant. Well, friends, let's keep learning more from Thomas. 这边 Jim 说 ，You spilled the pot of tea on me. Hey, 你把整壶的这个水呢，直接呢洒在我身上。那么 spill 这个动词呢，就是洒出来的意思，溢出来的意思。
。那么跟 pour p o u r 倒茶的那个 pour 有什么不一样呢 ？Spill 通常指的是不是故意的，是不小心的，叫做 spill。如果你是认真的、故意的在倒水，那个叫做 pour。所以这边提到说 ，You spilled the pot of tea on me。所以这边的 spill the pot of tea on me 是你不小心的。溅出来了，溢出来这些水倒在我身上。那么 spill 这个动词有两种，过去式跟过去分词的形态，一种是 spilled 加 ed， 一种是比较形容词用法的 spilt。比如说西方的谚语叫做“覆水难收”，就是用到 spilt。It's no use crying over spilt milk。已经洒出来了的牛奶呢，就没有办法再回收回来了。It's no use crying over spilled milk， 就是用这个字的一个过去分词哈。后面提到 touch， touch 是碰触到，所以这边说 I I didn't touch your teapot， 我没有碰到你的茶壶，怎么可能把水给弄翻了呢？这个 touch 就是碰触到的意思。后面有提到说 ，You are a terrible server， 所以你是一个很糟糕的服务生。You are a terrible waiter 的意思 ，and you should be fired。嗯，你应该被开除。事情的真相到底是什么呢？我们一起来看。Fired? No, I really need this job. Excuse me, I'm sure it was just an accident. How do you know? Did you see it happen? Well. No. Did anyone here see what happened? That's what I thought. Derek wouldn't spill hot tea on you on purpose. Well, he did. I am going to talk to your boss. 老板，老板。Excuse me, but Jim is lying. Whoa, whoa! Jim is lying. Gabe, do you think he's lying? Do I think that Jim is lying? <laughs> yes, I certainly do think that Jim is lying. Well, I know that we have a key word to learn, so let's do that together. Our key word is the verb lie. Lie. Now, when you lie. That means you say something that is not true. When you lie, you say something that you want other people to believe is true, but it's not. So, Andrea, is lying good? No, Gabe, lying is not good. We should tell the truth. So, if you are thinking about telling somebody something, make sure that you tell them the truth. Don't tell a lie about somebody. Because telling lies can hurt other people. Well, that's true. Okay, I'm going to tell you something right now, Gabe. Listen carefully. Okay. I'm going to tell you that I am 18 years old. <laughs> Andrea, you're 18. Well, are you lying to me? You look like you're 12. <laughs> Oh, nice, Gabe. I see, but you're right. I'm not telling the truth. I was lying, but just to help you all understand this word. That's right. So tell the truth. Do not lie. And Thomas is not going to lie as he teaches you more about this. 这边我们来学 accident 意外这个名词 It was an accident. 那时候发生这件事是一个意外，表示说。I didn't do it on purpose. Purpose 是目的 ，on purpose 是故意。It was an accident. I didn't do it on purpose. 那是一场意外，我不是故意的。后面来学 happen 的用法。Happen 是发生，所以刚刚学 accident， 我们可以来造句。Accidents will happen. 意外发生在所难免。Accidents do happen. 有的时候确实会发生一些的意外。Happen 是发生的意思。后面提到的 ，Hey, excuse me, but Jim is lying. 这里的 lying 是他在撒谎。原形动词是 L I E. Lie, lied, lied, lying. 这是说谎的三态变化，再加上 I N G. He is lying 表示说 He is not telling the truth. 他不是在说实话。我们来看今天的
Inspector E. Inspector E. Hello, I'm Mrs. E. Let's look at this week's lessons together. What can get really hot really fast? Do you remember? Let's look again. These little teacups get really hot really fast. These little teacups get really hot really fast. These little teacups got really hot really fast. Really hot really fast. Now, why is really used twice here? The adverb really is used twice to make us pay more attention to the adjectives hot and fast. Really hot, really fast. Now here, really means the same thing as very. In spoken informal English, very and really can mean the same thing. Let's try some examples. The class got really loud really fast. The weather got really bad really soon. Did you notice that the second really is used with time? Now you try it. See if you can make some examples. Now you can use the word really really well. Now remember, use it or lose it. This is Mrs. E. Signing off. Conversation replay. I haven't had traditional tea like this for years. We usually use tea bags in America. Are you sure you didn't burn your fingers, Patty? Yeah, I'm okay. Look. My fingers aren't even red. These little teacups get really hot, really fast. I remember now. How's your tea, Patty? It's wonderful. You should try some of mine too. Okay. Ouch, Derek! You burned me. What? No, I didn't, Jim. Yes, you did. You spilled the pot of tea on me. Look at my clothes. They're all wet. So is my arm. Uh, I'm really sorry. How did that happen? I didn't touch your teapot. Yes, you did. You are a terrible server. You should be fired. Fired? No. I really need this job. Excuse me, I'm sure it was just an accident. How do you know? Did you see it happen? Well, no. Did anyone here see what happened? That's why I thought Derek wouldn't spill hot tea on you on purpose. Well, he did. I am going to talk to your boss. 老板，老板。Excuse me, but Jim is lying. Calendar phrase. Welcome back, everyone. Today's calendar phrase is "try some of mine." Try some of mine. Mmm, Gabe, look at this candy. It looks really good. Andrea, your candy looks great, but look, this candy does not look very good, and it doesn't smell very good either. Well, Gabe, why don't you try some of mine? I can try some of yours. Yes, you can. And friends, you can try learning more with our calendar phrase skit. Try some of mine. Try some of mine. 吃一点我的吧 Do you like chocolate ice cream? I don't know. I've never tried it. What? Try some of mine. Are you sure? Yes. 
Try some of mine. Okay. Wow, that is good. Do you like strawberry ice cream? I'm not sure. Here, try some of mine. Okay. Mmm, I like it. Let's trade. Okay. You eat my ice cream, and I'll eat yours. Try some of mine. Try some of mine. 吃一点我的吧 Well, friends, soon it's time to go. But wait, before we go, we have to practice with the uh, 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 question of the day. Yes, and you got it. <sighs> Now, can you give us the question? Yes, the question of the day is: Do you think the man is lying? Why or why not? Do you think the man is lying? Why or why not? You know, I think the man is lying because he kind of looks like he's lying. Hmm. Well, we will find out tomorrow. So please join us here on Let's Talk in English on PTS and the radio. And you know what, friends? Learning English can be fun. fun. <laughs> See you. Bye bye. That's right, Eddie. <laughs> bye bye. English can be fun. To the world around, joy and friends to be found. Let's talk in English. Learning together can be fun. The journey's begun. The journey's begun. Let's talk in English. Learning together can be fun. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Let's Talk in English on PTS. And on the radio, my name is Gabe, and I'm Andrea. Today we are going to finish our week in Hualien, and it has been an exciting week. It has been an exciting week, and Patty, we see here, is writing in her journal all about her week and the exciting things that are happening. Well, let's look at our key words for the day. Our first one is leaf. Leaf. In the fall in America, many green leaves change to yellow, orange, or red. Instead of. Instead of. Let's play games tonight. Instead of watching TV. Yummy. Yummy. This cake is yummy. Can I have another piece? Skin. Skin. Sally has pretty skin. It is very white. Bottle. Bottle. The baby drinks milk out of a bottle. Jealous. Jealous. Kelly is jealous of her brother. He gets to stay up later than her. Well, we get to say these key words again. The first one is leaf. Leaf. Instead of. Instead of. Yummy. Yummy. Skin. Skin. Bottle. Bottle. Jealous. Jealous. Okay, everybody, listen for these words in today's lesson. And now let's go see what today's mission is. Eddie. Hello. Uh, has Has anyone seen my bottle of of honey? Is that our mission for the day? No. I, no. No. I don't. No. It's really so. yummy. Where's my bottle? Oh, I'm sorry. Your bottle of honey? We don't know, but we want to know what the mission for the day is. Oh, I know that one. Oh, you want to know it? Okay, today's mission. How did Patty know that Jim lied? How did Patty know that Jim lied? Well, that's a good question, and let's see if we can find out the answer to this mission in today's lesson. Let's go there now.
Dear Journal, I'm having Taiwan adventures already. Grandma and Roger took me to a traditional tea house yesterday. The building was beautiful and the tea was delicious. I liked drinking tea made from tea leaves instead of tea bags. <laughs> I also liked the blood rice cake. It was yummy. Grandma told me about other tea houses she has been to. She has lived in Taiwan for 50 years, so she's been to a lot of tea houses. Well, everyone, what are we looking at right now? What is Patty writing in, Andrea? She is writing in her journal, and we get to read and learn from what she is writing. That's right, she is having adventures there in Hualien. She says that she likes drinking tea made from leaves instead of tea bags. And let's look at those key words. The first one is leaf. Leaf. A leaf is something that grows on trees or bushes or other kinds of plants. Even flowers have leaves. So tea leaves come from tea plants. You take those leaves off the plant and you make tea from them. And Patty loves drinking tea from tea leaves instead of tea bags. Well, let's look at these key words. Instead of. Instead of. Instead of is a phrase you use when you are talking about two things. If you want to do one thing more than the other, you would say, I would like to do this instead of that. I can say I would like to play basketball instead of watching basketball on TV. Or I can say I would like to take the bus instead of a taxi because it's cheaper. And I would like to keep learning instead of stopping right now. That's a great idea. Let's look at this next key word, yummy. Yummy. This is a word that you can use when you think something tastes great. You can say it tastes yummy. So when you try something that is delicious, that tastes great, you can say, mm, it is yummy. And blood rice cakes are <laughs> yummy. yummy. Well, at least Patty thinks they are yummy. Let's go see what Thomas has to say about this now. 大家好,我是Thomas。首先我们看到这个句子, I like drinking tea made from tea leaves instead of tea bags. 所以我现在呢,我喜欢喝茶,但是呢,我喝茶的时候,我宁可我泡茶是用茶叶tea leaves,泡的 instead of tea bags, 而不是用茶包来泡的,这样子一个句型。所以你也可以说, I like drinking tea instead of coffee. 所以呢,我呢,喜欢要喝茶,胜过我喜欢要喝咖啡,或者是呢,与其叫我喝咖啡,我倒是想要喝茶. I like drinking tea instead of coffee. 另外呢,也可以将tea leaves跟tea bags来做一个对照. 如果你是选择是泡茶用茶叶的话,那是 Tea leaves 也可以用 loose tea L O O S E loose tea 表示它是一夜一夜分开的。但是如果是 tea bags 表示你泡茶的时候用的是 bagged tea B A G G E D bag tea 表示它茶呢已经装在那个茶包里面，你看不到它茶叶的形状。后面提到说 yummy it is yummy 就等于说 it is delicious 也等于说 it is Tasty, T A S T Y, 表示非常可口的意思。所以口语的可口可以用 yummy. 我们来看下一段的对话。A really exciting thing happened at the tea house. A customer, Jim, said that Derek, our server, spilled hot tea on him and burned him. But Jim didn't act like he was in pain. Also, if Jim's skin were burned, it should be red and hot. His arm was wet, but not red. 
So, I knew he lied. Well, Patty is having an exciting time in Taiwan. She is writing about it in her journal. We also find out that Jim was lying, don't we, Gabe? Jim was lying. I knew it, and I'm glad that he was lying because now Derek will not get fired. That's right. I'm also glad that we found the answer to today's mission. The question is. How did Patty know that Jim lied? How did Patty know that Jim lied? If Jim's skin were burned, it should be red and hot. Now, Andrea, Jim's skin was wet, but not red or hot. And that's how Patty knew that Jim was lying. Well, friends, we saw a key word in the answer to the mission. Let's learn it. It is skin. Skin. Now, skin covers your whole body. Look at your hand. You can see skin. You have your fingers and your thumb. Skin covers your hand. So, skin is the part of your body that everybody else can see.、Um, Andrea, is your stomach part of your skin? Well, no, but your stomach has skin over it. Okay, it has skin over it, but nobody else can see the insides. But what we can see is your skin. And everybody has different kinds of skin. Some people have white skin. Some people have dark skin. That's what makes everyone special. That's right. And right now we're going to go to another special person. His name is Thomas. We'll see what he has to say. 这里我们来看一个句子 ，But Jim didn't act like he was in pain. 但是呢 ，Jim 表现上面、行为上面却没有显示出他是在痛的样子。He didn't act like he was in pain. 你也可以说 ，He didn't act like he was feeling painful. 他没有表现出这种行为，表示其中好像有点问题。接下来我们来看假设语法。这边说 ，If Jim's skin were burned， 从 were 上面你可以知道它是用假设语法，与现在事实相反呢，用过去式 were， 因为 skin 是单数，应该不能用 were， 用 were 就表示你在用假设语法。If Jim's skin were burned， 如果他的手背真的有被烫到的话 ，It should be red and hot。那他的皮肤呢，应该是红的，而且呢是热的，是烫的。红肿的意思哈，那实际上呢 ，his arm was wet but not red， 但是他的手背是湿的，却没有红肿，表示说 ，I knew he lied 啊，所以他就知道说，哎，他撒谎了。我们来看下一段。Then we checked Jim's table. His pot of tea was almost full, and we found a half-empty water bottle. Jim must have poured the water on himself. We found out that Jim is jealous of Derek. Jim wanted Derek's job, but the boss hired Derek instead of Jim. Well, I'm going to bed. It's only eight o'clock, but jet lag is making me so tired. The Taiwan traveler, Patty. Well, we know that Jim was lying, and this is an exciting adventure. Let's keep looking as we see that Jim had a half-empty water bottle. That's pretty amazing. He had a half-empty water bottle. Let's look at this word: bottle. Bottle. A bottle is something that you use to keep water in. Or other kinds of drinks or liquids. A bottle. You can take a bottle with you wherever you go. You can have a bottle of water, or if you go to a store, you can find bottles of juice or bottles of soda. That's right. So Jim had a half-empty water bottle, or you could also say he had a half-empty bottle of water. And why would he do this, Andrea? Why would he 
spill water on himself. Well, we found out he did this because he was jealous. He was jealous, and let's look at that word, jealous. Jealous. Jealous is an adjective that describes the feeling you get when you want something that somebody else has. Jim was jealous of Derek. He wanted something that Derek had. And you know, we are not jealous. No. We know that it's Thomas's turn to teach, so we're going to let him have the time right now. We're happy for you, Thomas. That's right. Not jealous. 这里呢，我们来比较 full 跟 half empty 的这种用法。这边说 his pot of tea was almost full. 他的茶壶的水几乎是满的 ，full。但是呢，实际上，如果你在造句的时候，你说 his pot of tea was almost half empty， half empty 就是一半是空的，一半是空的，其实也可以说一半是满的，不是吗？所以如果你说，哎，这一壶水呢，一半是空的，在另一面的形容就是等于是说 half full。So his pot of tea was half full. 就等于说 his pot of tea was half empty 的意思。后面提到的 bottle 是说 water bottle， 表示说它是装水的罐子。另外还有什么 bottle 呢？也可以有 milk bottle， 装牛奶的罐子，或者是 wine bottle， 装酒的罐子，或者是瓶子，都可以这样子用。后面提到呢 ，jealous。Jealous 是嫉妒或者是吃醋的，后面呢可以接 of， 比如说 Jim is jealous of Derek. Jim is jealous of Derek 表示说 Jim 呢其实是嫉妒 Derek。为什么呢 ？Because his boss hired Derek instead of Jim。所以因为呢最后的结果呢是他。雇用了 Derek， 所以呢 ，Jim 就非常的吃醋，演出了这一段哈。我们来看今天的 Movie Minute。Movie Minute。Today on Travel Hualien, we're in the Ling Tian Shan Ling Ye Cultural Center. Walking through this cultural center is like going back to the past. There are old houses and things from the past that remind you of the old days. Back in the 1960s, the logging industry, fa mu ye, in Ling Tian Shan grew. Many workers and their families moved to this area. There were more than 400 households and more than 2,000 people. So people built schools, stores. Churches and other buildings, but soon the logging stopped. Most people left afterwards. But there is still rich history in Ling Tian Shan. The government decided to rebuild the area. They fixed the old logging building and made it into a museum. Now it looks like it did in the past. Inside the building. There are old logging tools and other things people used in the past. Long ago, people used these tools to cut the different kinds of wood. You can also see old projectors, towingji. In the past, people watched movies using these projectors. Now, these projectors are valuable reminders of the past. After a nice walk through the museum, enjoy a hot cup of coffee and snack at the coffee shop. It's a great way to spend an afternoon. Conversation replay. 
and the tea was delicious. I liked drinking tea made from tea leaves instead of tea bags. <laughs> I also liked the blood rice cake. It was yummy. Grandma told me about other tea houses she has been to. She has lived in Taiwan for 50 years, so she's been to a lot of tea houses. A really exciting thing happened at the tea house. A customer, Jim, said that Derek, our server, spilled hot tea on him and burned him. But Jim didn't act like he was in pain. Also, if Jim's skin were burned, it should be red and hot. His arm was wet, but not red. So, I knew he lied. Then, we checked Jim's table. His pot of tea was almost full, and we found a half-empty water bottle. Jim must have poured the water on himself. We found out that Jim is jealous of Derek. Jim wanted Derek's job, but the boss hired Derek instead of Jim. Well, I'm going to bed. It's only 8 o'clock, but jet lag is making me so tired. The Taiwan Traveler, Patty. Calendar Phrase Hello everyone, it's time for us to look at today's calendar phrase, which is... This is yummy. This is yummy. And we have some bread right here. This is the best bread I have ever had in my life. This is yummy. That is true, everyone. This is yummy. You have to try some. That's right. It's really good. It's great to eat, and it tastes great, too. And I think something else that is really good is today's calendar phrase. Let's go see that right now. This is yummy. This is yummy. This is yummy. This is yummy. Did you try this one? No. This is yummy too. Yes, this is yummy. This is my favorite one. Try it. Did we try this one? No, we didn't. Let me try it. Ew, this is not yummy. You're right. This is not yummy. This is yummy. This is yummy. Hello again, everybody. Now let's find out what the question of the day is. Eddie, the question, please. The question of the day is, did you ever get burned? Talk about it. Did you ever get burned? Talk about it. Well, yes, I got burned, but it was a sunburn. My skin got very red and it hurt a lot. Yes, sunburns do hurt a lot. Well, everyone, we want to thank you for joining us here on Let's Talk in English on PTS and the radio. We hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> comes a time you have to make up your mind There's always a decision to be made The choice is yours, you better think it through It's up to you, what would you do? What would you do? Is it black or white? Is it wrong or right? Choices often aren't so Спасибо вам, друзья и партнеры! Благодаря вам вещание этой программы стало возможным. Hey everybody and welcome here to Let's Talk in English on PTS and the radio. My name is Gabe. And my name's Andrea. We are so glad you joined us. 
we have an exciting show just for you. That's right, and we have some key words, so let's look at those right now. Our first one is presentation. Presentation. Martha is working on a presentation for her boss. Our next key word is present. Present. Susie will present a speech in English tomorrow. Cultural. Cultural. Going to a museum is a cultural experience. Well done. Now let's say these keywords together one more time. Our first one is presentation. Presentation. Present. Present. Cultural. Cultural. Good. Now listen for these key words in today's lesson. And now it's time for us to find out what today's mission is. Eddie? Yes. Well, today I would love to present to you today's mission. Wow. Eddie, huh? you're going to give us a presentation? Yeah. Yeah, okay, it's a short presentation. Here it is. Today's mission. Where is the Winter Carnival? Where is the Winter Carnival? Where is the Winter Carnival? Well, everybody, listen closely and maybe you'll find out where the answer to today's mission is in today's lesson. Let's go there now. Hi, Sarah. How was school? Great. We're doing presentations on world festivals. My presentation is next week. Which festival will you talk about? The Winter Carnival in Quebec. I can make snow cones for everyone. Great idea. I can help you. Or you could present Australia Day and talk about the cockroach races. I can help you. I found some cockroaches. Ben found some cockroaches. I think this is great. Andrea, do you like cockroaches? Uh, no, Gabe. I do not like cockroaches, and I don't think this is great. Oh, really? Um, well, do you like school? Yes, I like school. Well, good, because Sarah is in school, and she has a presentation that she needs to do. Let's look at this keyword, presentation. Presentation. When you speak to a group of people about something that you studied, that's called a presentation. You might give a presentation in your class. Your teacher will tell you different things that you have to learn about. Then you share what you learned with other people in a presentation. So sometimes in high school or in college, or even at your job, you might have to do presentations. We can also say you give presentations. And when you give presentations, you present something. Let's look at this next key word, present. Present. When you are giving a presentation, you are presenting something. So present is the verb. When you're presenting about something, you are sharing the information that you learned to present. That's right. And in this conversation, we also learned something else. Sarah is presenting about what, Andrea? Well, I think she's presenting about the answer to today's mission. The answer to today's mission, which is, where is the Winter Carnival? Where is the Winter Carnival? The Winter Carnival is in Quebec. That is the answer. And now we have more English teaching from Thomas. Let's go see him right now. 大家好,我是Thomas. 首先来看presentation这个字. Presentation是发表报告的意思. 如果你是要做一篇关于什么样的报告, 你可以说, To do a presentation on... On后面接你所要报告的 
题目。所以这边提到说 ，We are doing presentations on world festivals。所以他要做很多次的报告，所以这边用 presentations。On world festivals, 来报告呢，在全世界各地的这些节庆。所以你也可以说 ，I'm going to do a presentation on Chinese history， 有关中国的历史。我想象打算呢做一篇的报告。你也可以说 ，I'm going to do a presentation in class， 我在课堂上要做一篇的报告。至于说时间的话，你可以说下个礼拜要做这样的一份报告。你可以说 My presentation is next week。这样的一个句型也可以沿用到其他例子，比如说 My birthday is next week。My birthday is next week。我的生日是下个礼拜。或者是说 My wedding anniversary is next week。我的结婚纪念日是在下个礼拜，也可以这样一个用法。后面来学它的动词是 present。刚刚学 presentation， 现在学它的动词是 present。present 如果当名词的话，可以当礼物 present， 发音改变哈、哦。present 文法的现在式也是用这个 present 这个字。present I'm going to do a presentation next week， 就等于说 I am going to present next week。我下个礼拜呢轮到我发表做报告的意思。我们来看下一段的对话。Sarah, they're safe in the box. Don't worry. When is this winter carnival in Quebec? In February. It's the biggest winter carnival in the world. There are many cultural events, and they have a night parade. We should go. No thanks. I'll stay with my new friends. So Ben does not want to go to the winter carnival. He says he'll stay with his new friends. Now, Gabe, who are his new friends? His new friends are the cockroaches. Ben brought them into the house. I know. I don't think this is a very good idea, but friends, I do think it's a good idea for us to learn our key word. Say it with me. It is cultural. Cultural. Now, first, let's look at the beginning of this word, culture. Now, your culture talks about the way you live, the language that you speak, and the place that you live. That's right. In a culture, there are many people, and they all share these things: how you live, how you speak. These kinds of things are called cultural. And I'm interested in cultural things. Are you? Well, when you're interested in cultural things, you like to learn about different cultures. Our conversation says that there are many cultural events at the Winter Carnival, so you can learn about the culture of Quebec when you go there. That's right. And that word "event" means something that happens, especially something that many people go to watch. This is an event, and events are usually very important and interesting. Now we have an event for all of you.、Thank、are you. you ready? Yes. The event is a teaching event. <gasps> really? Thomas will be there, and you are going to learn more. Do you want to go, Gabe? Yeah, let's go right now. Let's go. 这边提到 Winter Carnival. Carnival 是嘉年华 Winter Carnival is 冬季的嘉年华 So when is this Winter Carnival in Quebec? 在加拿大的魁北克，这种冬季的嘉年华是什么时候呢？这边提到说，这段的期间会有很多的 cultural events. Cultural 是文化的，原来的名词是 culture. Culture 是各国各个民族的文化，叫 culture. 形容词是 cultural. Event. 则是事件或者是活动。So there are going to be a lot of cultural events. 在这一段的 Winter Carnival 的当中，会有很多的文化的这些的艺文的活动 cultural events. 那么你也可以提到说 cultural center， 各地的文化中心就可以用这个字 cultural center。后面提到 parade。Parade 也是整个 cultural event 的其中一项。Parade 呢叫做 
，阅兵，哎，怎么会是阅兵呢？哦 p a r a d e 除了当阅兵之外，也可以当一般性的游行。呃，国庆的阅兵是 parade 哈，但是一般性的游行也可以当 parade。我们来举例，你可以说 ，We are going to have a parade。On New Year's Day， 在元旦 New Year's Day， 我们将会去游行，或者是有一场的阅兵，都可以这样子用法。英文也可以说 Don't rain on my parade， 在我游行的时候不要下雨，意思就是说不要坏了我的计划。我们来看今天的 Song Time。Song Time。What would you? What would you do? There comes a time you gotta make up your mind. There's always a decision、Game? to be made.、Game? The choices, dreams, dreams. Hey, Gabe, you look very silly. What are you doing? It's okay. I'm listening to a new song. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Well, tell me about the song. Okay, this song is called "What Would You Do." It's about choices. Listen to this. There comes a time you have to make up your mind. There's always whoa, whoa, a whoa, 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 Gabe. Hey, that's something great that we can teach. Really? Yeah. That's a great idea. The part about <laughs> making up your mind. Ah, make up your mind. That's a good phrase to know. When you make up your mind, that means you make a choice about something. If you're not sure what to do, if there are two things that you could do, you need to make the choice and choose one of them. You need to make up your mind. So when you make up your mind, you have a choice between two things. Okay, I have two pieces of fruit here, Gabe. Oh, that's great, Andrea. I have an Andrea. apple and an orange. Well, that's yeah, awesome. Uh, Gabe. Yes. What are you doing? Oh well, I'm just playing with your fruit. Okay, okay. No, what I need you to do is I need you to make up your mind. You can only choose one. Oh, only choose one? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Driz, I hate decisions. Can you help me make up my mind? Okay, I'll help you. Mmm. <sighs> She started、mm. to eat the apple.、Mm. Well, I've made up my mind. Give me the orange. Please. Please give me the orange. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Driz. All right, now I want to share more of this song with you. There's more to share. Well, hey, what is it? Well, listen closely. The choice is yours. You'd better think it through. It's up to you. What would you do? Hey, hey, I like that. It's up to you. It's up to you. Now, if something is up to you, that means it is your choice. You are the one who has to make a decision. No one else can make up your mind. It's up to you. It is your choice. Hey, Gabe. Yes. Actually, I I think I would also like that orange. Oh, really? You、oh. want this orange? That's right, I do. <laughs> well, it's up to you. I'm not going to stop you. You can have it if you want. Okay. But first, let me share more of this song with you. Is it black or white? Is it wrong or right? The choices often aren't so clear. Weigh the pros and cons. Maybe seek advice. That is what you gotta do. Hey,、and、I like that, Gabe. The <laughs> the pros and cons. I think we can learn something from that. Well, the pros are the good things, and the cons are the bad things. And when you make big decisions. Things change. That is true. So when you think about the good things, what could make the situation better? Well, then that is a pro, P R O. But if you think of the things that might make it worse, well, then that's a con, C O N. Oh, right. And so it's important to weigh the decisions to see which ones are heavier. Hey, Driz, do you still want this orange? Well, let me weigh the pros and cons.、Good、okay.、Idea. Now, if I take that orange, I will be eating another healthy thing, and that's good for me. So, that is a pro. But if you take this orange, then I won't be as healthy, and that is a con. Okay. Okay. Well, 
If I take the orange, which is something that I've already given you, then you might also be mad at me. And of course, that's a con. That is a con. So, what's your decision? I'll let you keep the orange. You weighed the pros and cons. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, okay. Gee whiz. We're done. We're done. Gee whiz. We're done. You called me gee whiz? Gee whiz. I like it. Driz and gee whiz. I want to share more of this song with you. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Here, listen to this. school. Great. We're doing presentations on world festivals. My presentation is next week. Which festival will you talk about? The Winter Carnival in Quebec. I can make snow cones for everyone. Great idea. I can help you. Or you could present Australia Day and talk about the cockroach races. I can help you. I found some cockroaches. into our house? Sarah, they're safe in the box. Don't worry. When is this winter carnival in Quebec? In February. It's the biggest winter carnival in the world. There are many cultural events. And they have a night parade. We should go. No thanks. I'll stay with my new friends. Calendar Phrase That's great, Andrea. Thank you for telling me all about your childhood. You know, I'd love to learn more about that. Really, Gabe? Yeah. Really? I think it would be great. But right now, we need to go to our calendar phrase. Today's calendar phrase is, I'd love to learn more about that. I'd love to learn more about that. And you can use this phrase if you want to know more about something. I'd love to learn more about that. You know, Gabe, I would love to learn more about our calendar phrase. Well, you're in for a great treat because right now we have a calendar phrase coming right up. I'd love to learn more about that. I'd love to learn more about that. Do you know how to cook Chinese food? 
No, but I'd love to learn more about that. Me too. I'd love to learn more about that too. Who can we ask to teach us? My mom's a good cook. Maybe we can learn how to cook from her. Great! I'd love to learn more about that. I'd love to learn more about that. I'd love to learn more about that. 我很想知道如何做 Hello, everybody. It's now time for the question of the day. Eddie, do you have a question for us? I always have a question for the day. Let's see.、Uh, okay, I know what it is. What festival would you like to present about? What festival would you like to present about? Hmm, that is a hard question to answer. You know, I think I would also like to present about a winter festival. There are so many fun things that you can do in the winter outside. On the snow. Well, that is a great answer. How would you answer, everybody? All right, we want to thank you for joining us here on Let's Talk in English. We're on PTS and the radio. Learning English can be fun. Bye bye. Bye bye. There comes a time you have to make up your mind. There's always a decision to be made. The choice is yours. You better think it through. It's up to you. What would you do? What would you do? Is it black or white? Is it wrong or right? Choices often aren't so clear. Weigh the pros and cons. Maybe see again. Hi everyone! Welcome to Saturday, right here on Let's Talk in English on PTS and the radio. I'm Andrea, and I'm Gabe. Are you ready to review this week's lesson in Hualien? We hope you are. Yes, we were in Hualien this week, and we'll be going there for one week every month. But this week, our story began. We met Patty. And Patty is visiting Taiwan. That's right. She's visiting her grandma, and we met her cousin Roger this week as well. And where did they go, friends? Do you remember, Gabe? Do you remember where they went? <laughs> right. Hmm. This time they went to a tea house. That's right. And we learned how to talk about dining out, going to a restaurant. And also about drinking tea. So, friends, a good idea is for you to sit down, enjoy a nice cup of tea while you watch our Saturday review. Now, Gabe, what kind of tea are you drinking today? Well, today I am drinking green tea. It's not black tea. It's not chrysanthemum tea. It's just plain green tea. And green tea, of course, is very healthy. And we hope that you enjoy it. Gabe, is it good? Hmm. It's amazing. Thank you. Good, good. All right, friends. We hope you enjoy our Saturday review. We'll go back to Hualien. Then we'll also see Thomas as he helps us beat the G E P T. The G E P T. All right. Well, I am excited. Are you excited, Andrea? I am excited. I love Saturdays. All right. Well, let's go and review and take a look at this week's lesson right now. Conversation replay. Three people are in a car in Hualien. Grandma Jones is driving. Two of her grandchildren, Roger and Patty, are with her. They are going to a tea house. Grandma and Roger are telling Patty about Taiwan. Patty is excited. This is her second day in Taiwan. She is having a lot of fun already. Grandma, Roger, and Patty get to the tea house. It is beautiful. Patty thinks about tea. She remembers her last day with her mom. Patty, 
come and drink some tea with me. I can't, Mom. I'm too excited. I'm leaving for Taiwan today. <laughs> I know, but have some tea. Sit down and relax. Okay, okay. Let me pour the tea for you. I can't do this again for three months. Are you sad, Mom? Yes, my little girl is leaving. Mom, I'm not little. I'm seventeen years old. Patty, I have something for you. A journal. <laughs> Thanks. Write about all your Taiwan adventures. Okay. Thanks, Mom. You are staying with your dad's brother and his family, but please go see my sister and her family too. <laughs> okay. Explore Hualien. Take a lot of pictures, but be careful. I know. Don't worry, Mom. Okay, honey. I love you. Patty, are you listening to us? What? Oh, Grandma, I'm sorry. I'm thinking about Mom. I understand. Your mom is wonderful. My son married the right girl. <laughs> so, Patty, what is your favorite tea? I like all kinds of tea. Well, which kind do you like best? Green, red, or oolong tea. Red tea? What's that? It's black tea. People call it red tea here. Interesting. Here is a menu, Patty. Sorry, Grandma. <laughs> I can't read Chinese. You can't? Well, you're going to learn to read some Chinese this summer. <laughs> okay. Do you like fruit tea, or how about flower tea? Flowers in tea. Yeah, like chamomile or jasmine. Oh, those are flowers. I didn't know. Can you just choose something for me? Good idea. Roger, you come here often. Choose something wonderful for Patty. There are so many teas on the menu. How can you choose just one? You keep coming back until you try them all. And there are other things on the menu besides tea. Really? Do they have coffee? No, not at this tea house. But they do have some food. Food at a tea house? Cool. Let's order some food. Hi, Roger. Who is this? Do you have a new girlfriend? She's pretty. Thank you, but I'm not Roger's girlfriend. I'm his grandmother. <laughs> I know, Mrs. Jones. Hi, Derek. This is my cousin, Patty. She's staying with us this summer. Hello, Patty. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. You don't look like Roger. <laughs> well, our dads are brothers, but my mom is Chinese. She's from Hualien. Derek, we're ready to order. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Derek. I am your waiter today. What can I get for you? I would like some oolong tea. I would like some green tea, and Patty will have fruit tea. We'd also like some chicken feet and blood rice cake. Okay, I'll be right back. Chicken feet? Yes, you'll love them. <laughs> wow, Taiwan really is different from America. Here is your tea and food. Pots and the little teacups. I have to take.
take a picture. I can take the picture, Patty. You can be in it. That will be more beautiful. Oh, okay. Wait, let's pour some tea into the cups. Then, let's hold our cups and... Ouch! Are you okay? I think so. Wow, that's hot. I haven't had traditional tea like this for years. We usually use tea bags in America. Are you sure you didn't burn your fingers, Patty? Yeah, I'm okay. Look, my fingers aren't even red. These little teacups get really hot really fast. I remember now. How's your tea, Patty? It's wonderful. You should try some of mine, too. Okay. Ouch! Derek, you burned me. What? No, I didn't, Jim. Yes, you did. You spilled a pot of tea on me. Look at my clothes. They're all wet. And so is my arm. Uh, I'm really sorry. How did that happen? I didn't touch your teapot. Yes, you did. You are a terrible server. You should be fired. Fired? No, I really need this job. Excuse me, I'm sure it was just an accident. How do you know? Did you see it happen? Well, no. Did anyone here see what happened? That's what I thought. Derek wouldn't spill hot tea on you on purpose. Well, he did. I am going to talk to your boss. Lao Ban, Lao Ban. Excuse me, but Jim is lying. Dear Journal, I'm having Taiwan adventures already. Grandma and Roger took me to a traditional tea house yesterday. The building was beautiful and the tea was delicious. I liked drinking tea made from tea leaves instead of tea bags. <laughs> I also liked the blood rice cake. It was yummy. Grandma told me about other tea houses she has been to. She has lived in Taiwan for 50 years, so she's been to a lot of tea houses. A really exciting thing happened at the tea house. A customer, Jim, said that Derek, our server, spilled hot tea on him and burned him. But Jim didn't act like he was in pain. Also, if Jim's skin were burned, it should be red and hot. His arm was wet, but not red, so I knew he lied. Then we checked Jim's table. His pot of tea was almost full, and we found a half-empty water bottle. Jim must have poured the water on himself. We found out that Jim is jealous of Derek. Jim wanted Derek's job, but the boss hired Derek instead of Jim. Well, I'm going to bed. It's only eight o'clock, but jet lag is making me so tired. The Taiwan Traveler, Patty. Beat the GEPT. 大家好，我是 Thomas， 又到了我们 B e a t the GPT 战胜全民检的单元了。今天我们来看段落填空。首先，这篇文章提到说 ，In America, people really enjoy potluck suppers. 
所以在美国呢，大家都很喜欢这样一种聚餐的方式 ，potluck， 一人或者是一家一菜，大家各自带一些菜肴来。Everyone brings a similar food to share with the group。所以这边第一题提到说，那这样的话，每一个人每一家应该要带什么呢？带一个菜肴。带一种菜肴来，带一盘菜来，这样的意思。带一种菜来。A discussion, discussion 是讨论，不对。B discount, discount 是折扣、打折，也不对。C dish, a dish of food， 答对了。所以答案应该选 C。每一个人要带一菜来，一种菜肴来。D 的 disc, disc 是磁碟这种圆圆的东西，也不对，所以应该选 C。我们来看下一题。A potluck is a great way to get people together, and no one has to do much. 什么？既然是 potluck， 一人一菜或一家一菜，所以它能够把众人聚在一起是很好的聚集的方式。那这样的方式呢？这么多人要吃东西，那如果你是主人，你要煮很多东西了。但是不用，因为是 potluck 嘛，每一个人都会带东西来吃。And no one has to do much. 应该要选 much cooking. No one has to do much cooking. 意思就是说，没有任何一个人，包括主人，都包括在内，不用去做这么多的烹调的事情，下厨做这么多菜的意思。A cook 是当厨师或者是动词的主菜都不对，所以呢，应该是选 B cooking。我们来看下一题。这边接下来提到说 ，Well, sometimes the host or hostess tells each person the kind of dish to bring. 没错。所以做东的人呢，做主人的一定要吩咐说哪一家哪一人要负责带什么样的菜。比如说 ，He or she tells one person to bring a main dish。所以呢，有一人或一家必须要带主菜，然后另外一个人要带沙拉，然后第三个人呢要带点心、带甜点来。这样应该怎么说呢？应该说 ，He or she tells one person to do this。Tells another person to do that, and tells a third person to do something else. So, 应该是用 C 的 another， 另外一位。所以是大叫一个人说 ，Well, you bring a main dish, and another person to bring a salad, and a third person to bring a dessert. 这样子一个用法哦。所以应该选 C another。我们来看下一题。接下来说。That way, the group can enjoy a small meal. 所以大家都各自带一菜，而且事先有经过协调的话，那就能够吃到一顿完整的餐了。有主菜，有水果，有点心、甜点，有饮料等等的。所以完整的应该选什么呢 ？A complete. 答对了 ，complete 就是完整的意思。A complete meal. B complex. Complex, complex 是复杂的，不对。C, compete, compete 是竞争，也不对。D, compared, compare 是比较过的，也是错。应该要选 A, a complete meal。我们来看下一题。那么如果这么多人带这么多菜呢，就有一个问题了，对不对 ？People 什么 a chance and just eat whatever others bring。所以呢，既然协调过，可是你并不知道其他人的手艺怎么样呢？你只好冒险试试看人家的菜咯。冒险试试看的动词片语应该是 take a chance， 所以 B 的 give a chance， make a chance， blow a chance 都不对，应该要选 A， 冒险 to take a chance。以上的讲解清楚了吗？各位同学在段落填空的时候，因为它在整个文章的里面，所以你一定要了解文章的一个句意。并且了解应该选什么样的意思来表达，选什么样的字来表达整个句意，这样就可以 B 的 GPT 战胜全民一点。Song time.
choices often aren't so clear Weigh the pros and cons, maybe seek advice Then think it through, what would you do? There's always a decision to be made The choice is yours, you better think it through It's up to you, what would you do? What would you do? Word Power It's time for Word Power! This week we're talking about tea. Let's drink some! Black tea is one of the most popular kinds of tea. In some countries, black tea is called red tea. Black tea has a strong flavor. Black tea. Black tea. Green tea is another popular tea. Green tea is a light green color, and its flavor is not as strong as black tea. Drinking green tea is good for your health. Green tea. Green tea. Oolong tea is popular in China and other Asian countries. Oolong tea is made differently from green or black tea, so its flavor is a little different. Oolong tea. Oolong tea. If you like sweet teas, you can try fruit tea. Fruit tea is made by adding fruit to regular black tea. The fruit makes the tea sweet. Fruit tea. Fruit tea. If you like tea, but you don't want caffeine, you can drink herbal teas. Herbal teas are made with dried flowers, leaves, and other kinds of plants. Herbal tea. Herbal tea. I'm thirsty. I think I'll get some tea. Remember all these words when you talk about tea, and you'll have word power! Gabe, I think I need some more tea. You need more tea? That's right! Well, let's call our waitress in and see if she can get you some more tea. Okay, but before we do that, we should say thank you to everyone for joining us today. We'll see you next week on Let's Talk in English. On PTS and on the radio. Have a great weekend, everyone. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Let's Talk in English on PTS and the radio. I'm Andrea. And I'm Gabe, and I'm glad to be here. This week we're going to be talking about describing people, places, and things, so pay attention. That's right, please pay attention. We're going to learn some key words to help you do this. Are you ready? Let's begin. Our first one is appreciate. Appreciate. Miss Lanning is a great teacher. We all appreciate her. Strange. Strange. That man has a book on his head. That's strange. Smell. Smell. The baby smells good after her bath. Taste. Taste. I love my mom's food. It 
tastes great. Bite. Bite. Charlie has a big mouth. He can take big bites. Okay, let's look at these words one more time. Appreciate. Appreciate. Strange. Strange. Smell. Smell. Taste. Taste. Bite. Bite. Well done, everyone. Now let's go see someone we all appreciate. His name is Eddie. Hi, Eddie. Yeah.、Uh, what is that strange smell? I, I don't know. I don't smell anything. I Do smell、you? perfume. Oh well, that's a good smell, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. It it smells pretty good. <laughs>、uh, <laughs> well, what's today's mission, Eddie? Ah, yes. Today's mission. What are Max and Simon talking about? What are Max and Simon talking about? We'll find out today. For now, let's begin our read it paragraph. Renee comes out from the back of the diner. She sees Simon and Max. They are not very happy. Renee listens to them. They are talking about Max's daily special. Simon doesn't like it. Max isn't happy about that. He loves his food. Renee smiles. She walks over to Max and Simon. Welcome back, everyone. Well, we are talking about our read it paragraph, and we saw Max and Simon in the diner. Now, Gabe, what were they talking about? Well, Max and Simon were talking about Max's daily special. And Gabe, you just said the answer to today's mission. That's great. All right, let's look at it together. The question is. What are Max and Simon talking about? What are Max and Simon talking about? They're talking about Max's daily special. Now remember, a daily special is something that you can order at a restaurant. The daily special changes every day. That's right. This word "daily" means day by day, and there is something that you watch daily. That is, let's talk in English. Let's talk in English. Is a daily show. Maybe you read the daily newspaper. A daily paper comes out every day. That's right. And now they're talking about Max's daily special. At the beginning of our reading paragraph, we see Renee, and she comes out from the back of the diner. Now, the back of the diner is usually a place where only people who work go. The kitchen is at the back of the diner, and the place where people sit is in the front of the diner or in the main area of the diner. But Renee has come from the back of the diner, and we have somewhere to go right now. We have to go see Thomas and learn more about this. Great idea. 大家好，我是 Thomas。首先来学 listen 的用法。Listen 是听，所以这边说 Renee listens to them. 所以呢 ，Renee 在听他们说话，所以加一个 to。Renee listens to them。有的时候你说，哎，好像有什么声音哦。Listen。所以 listen 有注意听的意思。有的时候人家要跟你讲话，然后就跟你说 ，Hey， listen to me， listen to me。Are you listening to me？ 你有没有在听我讲话？所以跟刚刚那种用法 ，listen， 请听，然后 listen to me， 听我说话。Are you listening to me？ 但是，一旦呢说 ，Hey， 你有没有听见什么声音？你就可以说 ，Hey, did you hear that? Did you hear that? 你有没有听见那个声音？这样的一个用法。后面我们来看 about 的用法。如果你对什么东西、对什么事情你感到不高兴，你可以说 ，I'm not happy about that. 所、so, 以这边提到说 ，Max isn't happy about that. 菜是他煮的，有人觉得他的菜不好吃，他当然不高兴了。So Max is not happy about that. 那么他们在谈论什么事也可以用 about. So what are they talking about? 他们在谈什么呢 ？They're talking about Max's daily special. 
，在谈说餐厅的今日特餐好不好吃。后面提到说 ，Rene 最后决定走向他们，穿过这个空间走到他们那里，所以用 walk over。Rene walks over to them。你也可以说 ，Rene walks up to them， 朝他们走过去。我们来看下一段的对话。What's wrong, boys? Simon can't appreciate good food. I can appreciate good food. I just don't want this food. What's wrong with it, Simon? Well, it's strange. It is. Yes. What's so strange about it, Simon? It's slimy, and it smells a little strange too. Well, Renee walks up to Max and Simon and asks a question: "What's wrong, boys? Andrea, what is wrong?" Well, Max is a little bit upset because Simon can't appreciate good food. Well, I can appreciate good food, and I appreciate that you mentioned that key word, appreciate. Appreciate. When you appreciate something. That means you like it so much, it just makes you want to say, "Thank you." You appreciate it. Simon doesn't appreciate good food. That means he doesn't really think it's good, or he doesn't understand what good food is. Maybe he will learn to appreciate it. He might learn to appreciate it later, but right now he thinks it's a little strange. And let's look at that key word, strange. Strange. Strange means not normal. It's not usual. It's a little different. It's strange. And if you've never tried something before, you can say that it's strange. That's right. Sometimes if you go outside and the weather is very different, you can say, "Hmm, it's kind of a strange day today." It's a strange day, or this is a strange place. I have never been here before, and we see that Simon thinks that Max's food is a little strange. And what else does he say about it? Well, he also says that it smells a little strange too. And you just used another key word, smell. Smell. You use your nose to smell things, and different things have different smells. Things can smell good, or things can also smell bad. That's right. Things can stink. But we know someone who does not stink. We know someone who is not strange. He is cool, and his name is Thomas. Let's go see him now. Here, 呢，我们来学懂得欣赏的欣赏这个动词叫做 appreciate. Appreciate. Simon can't appreciate good food. Simon 这个家伙，他根本不懂得吃啊，不懂得品味，不懂得欣赏什么叫美食。所以这边说 ，Simon can't appreciate good food。你如果说，哎，他呢也不懂欣赏好音乐 ，He can't appreciate good music。好音乐他也不会欣赏哈、哦、，appreciate。后面提到 strange， 因为他觉得说 ，Well the food is strange， 奇怪的。How can the food be strange? 食物为什么会奇怪呢？那么陌生人就叫做 stranger, S T R A N G E R， 也是从这个字来的哈。比如说，哎，邻居不在，为什么他们家的门是开着呢？ Don't you find that strange? 你不会觉得这样很奇怪吗？后面来学 smell, smell 呢是闻起来怎么样？味道。闻起来怎么样 ？Well, the food smells a little strange. 那个食物的味道闻起来有点奇怪啊。本来是说 it's slimy. Slimy 是什么呢？黏黏的，呃，好恶心哦。Slime, S L I M E 的名词就是黏黏的东西。那改为形容词的时候，一去掉，所以变成 slimy。记得哦，不要跟 slim 混掉了。Slim 是 S L I M。苗条的完全不一样哦。我们来看下一段的对话。It smells okay to me, Simon. Simon, just try it. It tastes really good. But Simon, come on. One bite can't hurt you, and 
You may really like it. Oh. All right. Hey, this is really good. See, my food is good. <laughs> yes, it is. Renee, bring me another plate of this. I love it. Okay, honey, coming right up. Mm. Coming right up. Well, if something is coming right up, that means it's going to happen very soon. It's going to happen very soon. And I know something that's coming right up. We have two key words coming right up. And our first key word is taste. Taste. When you taste something, it's the feeling you have in your mouth. You can taste food or you can taste a drink. Sometimes it tastes good and sometimes it tastes bad. That's right. You use your tongue to taste different things. Andrea, what's something that tastes really good? Oh, fruit tastes great, especially mangoes. Mangoes taste very sweet. Fruit tastes great, and I love how chocolate tastes. Chocolate tastes wonderful. I just love taking a nice big bite of chocolate. Mm. Ooh, it wow, does it delicious. taste delicious? Yeah. All right, well, we have another key word to learn. It is bite. Bite. Now, when you bite, that means you use your teeth to take a piece of something. You can bite an apple or bite into a cookie. Okay, you said you can bite an apple. Can you stick the whole apple in your mouth and call it a bite? Well, I don't think you can eat a whole apple at once. You no. have to take many bites. That's right, many bites. So a bite is usually just enough food that fits in your mouth or smaller. That's right, and if you want to try what someone else is eating, you can say, can I have a bite? Well, sure, but first we need to go and see what Thomas has to say about all this. Coming right up. Here we learn taste. Taste is how it's cooked. 品尝起来的味道怎么样 ？The food tastes great. The food tastes delicious. Wow, 这食物尝起来好好吃哦。那么 taste 是属于感官动词，后面要接形容词 smell。闻起来怎么样？也是一样。The food smells great. 嗯，这味道好香啊，也是同样这种用法。后面来学 bite。Bite. 如果是当动词的话，是咬一口。To bite something. 那你也可以把它转成名词是 take a bite. You don't like it? Why don't you take a bite? 喜欢了之后 ，you can take another bite. 再咬一口啊。那么西方有谚语叫做 barking dogs don't bite. Barking 是会叫的狗。Barking dogs don't bite. 会叫的狗通常都不会咬人，意思就是说讲话也是很大声的，但是不一定有伤害这样的意思哈。会叫的狗不会咬人，也是用这个动词 bite。那么记得呢，它的动词的变化是 bite, bit, bitten, b i t e b i t b i t t e n。后面提到呢是 plate, plate 呢是一个盘子。Bring me another plate. 你也可以说 Bring me another glass. 再给我一杯 Bring me another cup. Bring me another piece. 再给我一片都可以。我们来看今天的 Word Power. Word Power. It's time for Word Power. This week we're talking about describing people. One of the best ways to describe people is to talk about their hair. Here are some words to help you do that. Most Asian people have straight hair. Their hair does not have any bends or waves in it. Straight, straight. If your hair is not straight, it might be curly. Curly hair is full of curls. Curly. Curly. 
Wavy is another way to describe hair. People with wavy hair have hair that is not quite straight and not really curly. Wavy. Wavy. What color is your hair? Most Chinese people have black hair. Black. Black. Some people have brown hair. Brown hair is lighter than black hair. Brown. Brown. Some people have hair that is gold or yellow. We say these people have blonde hair. Blonde hair is very bright and shiny. Blonde. Blonde. A few people have red hair. Many people with red hair have very white skin. They come from Scotland, Ireland, and Wales. Red. Red. What kind of hair do you have? Looks like I need to go brush my hair. It is a little messy. Remember these words the next time you describe someone, and you will have word power. Conversation replay. Renee comes out from the back of the diner. She sees Simon and Max. They are not very happy. Renee listens to them. They are talking about Max's daily special. Simon doesn't like it. Max isn't happy about that. He loves his food. Renee smiles. She walks over to Max and Simon. What's wrong, boys? Simon can't appreciate good food. I can appreciate good food. I just don't want this food. What's wrong with it, Simon? Well, it's strange. It is. Yes. What's so strange about it, Simon? It's slimy, and it smells a little strange too. It smells okay to me, Simon. Simon, just try it. It tastes really good. But Simon, come on. One bite can't hurt you, and you may really like it. Oh. All right. <sighs> hey, this is really good. See, my food is good. <laughs> yes, it is. Renee, bring me another plate of this. I love it. Okay, honey, coming right up.、Mm. Calendar phrase. Well, friends, let us learn today's calendar phrase. What is it? What is it? Yeah, Gabe. What is it? Well, I'm not sure. And if you don't know what something is, this is a great question to ask. Ah, so the calendar phrase is "What is it?" That's right, Andrea. Okay. Well, Gabe, I have something that you are going to love. You're going to learn a lot from it. Really? What is it? It's our calendar phrase skit. Oh, of course. Are you ready to watch and learn more? Yeah. From what? From our calendar phrase skit. Oh, that's great! Let's、okay. go see it right now. Let's go. What is it? What is it? 那是什么 Hey, John, look at this. What is it? I don't know. It was in my car. Really? That's strange. What is it? I'm not sure. Wait, I know. Really? What is it? It's my sister's hat. What is it? What is it? 那是什么 Hey, 
everyone. What do you say? Let's practice the question, question of, of the day. day. That's right. <laughs> okay, Eddie, it's your turn. Okay, the question of the day is, what is your favorite food? Talk about it. What is your favorite food? Talk about it. My favorite food is called Chicken Devon. It's got chicken and mushroom sauce and broccoli and cheese and it tastes delicious. Oh wow, Gabe, I'm getting hungry. Well, thank you everyone for joining us today here on Let's Talk in English. On PTS and on the radio. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Bye. Chicken Devon? Yeah.